I was under the impression like someone had to tell you like, no, dude, you were on this show, Malcolm in the Middle, and it was a big show. And you're that's like, how he described it to me. That's how I always thought it was. And you'd be watching episodes he like, has no what? recollection I'll say this. of being this is, on that show. This is the heard. first time that I've actually ever gotten to clarify. So I remember from, uh, you know, like when you were younger doing Malcolm in the Middle, like you were like the kid with the obnoxiously flashy cars. <laughs> yeah. And uh, <laughs> that was kind of, kind of your deal. And and I think at the time you were like maybe like barely legal age to drive. Yeah. And you had these crazy cars, and and uh, I, I got a kick out of that, man. Yeah, and, and it's crazy that you're getting ready to speak to today, and seeing that you're now 35 years old. Yeah, I know it's over. I mean, it's it, everybody it's like over. Uh, it's over. I mean, I just think of you as like I mean, because everybody does thinks you as yeah. a kid. You know, I, yeah. So going back, cars were definitely my vice. You know what I mean? Like I've I've always liked cars. Obviously, I went into racing and all that, but like even before that, I just loved cool cars i love driving sure. um but yeah now 35 you know i look back and I, I think of my life 20 years ago and i go was that did i really was that me like mm-hmm. that that was pretty cool you know what i mean so mm-hmm. right you know now I, I uh you know i i have an eight-month-old son and a wife and i drive a mitsubishi <laughs> you know, <laughs> really <laughs> well I, I had to get like a car for for the baby yeah wow Paul here was saying that he read something or saw something that uh, that you have suffered a bunch of concussions, mm-hmm. which make uh, make it difficult for you to remember, like the years of Malcolm in the Middle. Yeah, I, you know it's it's an interesting. I, I've I've thought about it a lot, like over my years of like, you know, why do I have a bad memory? You know what I mean? The only logical thing I can say is, yeah, I've had nine concussions. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like I've and, and they were all from cars. No, when I was a kid playing basketball and getting tripped, I played football. Uh, you know, like pee wee football, like just doing right, okay. life things, sports, and you know, uh, sh- there were some in in car, car like racing accidents, but you know, for the most part, no. Like it's not just that, but and I I, I try. I've gone to a lot of doctors over it and um, looked into it, and I don't know. As weird as it sounds. I don't want to blame the concussions or blame anything else. I just think it's the fact that I did so fucking much okay. when in that time frame that, of course, I can't remember what, all of it. You right. know what I mean? Like, okay. You know, I, so you remember, you have some memory have of some it. some memories. You know, like, I, like there's, there's definitely things that pop up and I go like, whoa. But a lot of it, of my memories now are almost like I can't distinguish if it was a dream mm-hmm. or if it was reality. Oh, right? yeah. You know what I mean? Like thing, places I went, things I, you know, people I hung out, whatever it was. You know what I mean? I heard Where something I also like, Did that I really do that. I heard something also that you've you've had like these mini strokes throughout your life. Yes. Is that related to the concussions, you know or is that a separate so thing? This is why, maybe without getting into it, like I I never trust doctors anymore the rest of my life. Um, I went for a long time. I was having these uh, these episodes uh, where. I'd have like numbness and I, I couldn't really see, like I'd lose peripheral vision and all this stuff. And everyone was telling me like, you're having TIAs, transient is- ischemic attacks or mini strokes. And I'm like, what, like, what are you talking about? Like I'm healthy. Like I don't do, or, you know, I don't have any of the, the, the signs of people who would normally have those things. So like, it didn't make sense. So I went to a bunch of doctors and nobody could really give me like a straight up answer. So I had people kind of speculating. And of course, like I said what they were speculating. And now it turns out literally, after all that, and like, if you search my name, like, all it talks about is how, like, I have no memory or I'm dying of strokes <laughs> right, right. and all this kind of stuff. And the reality is, like, I finally got diagnosed with aura migraines. So just intense what? migraines. Intense migraines that literally, like, those are the symptoms. And it fu- it's similar symptoms to transient ischemic attacks. Okay. Now, all this time, like, I've been being told that and thinking that, we're realistically, like, I just had some pretty intense migraines. Got you, but the story's out there. It's the too late oh, no, now. I'm, it's I'm, like you, you search my name. It's basically for yeah. me just dying. You right. Know what I mean? it's, <laughs> it's not, it's, it's like, he doesn't know, know where he is. He doesn't know what's like, going on. He doesn't on. even know that he was Malcolm. I'm like, yeah. Uh, no, I, that's the impression no, I, I got. That was kind of the headline right. I read. Like I know. he doesn't even know. And it, it's funny because like I I never <clears> talked about it. I did Dancing with the Stars four years ago now. Wow, we've had a lot of guests that have done Dancing I, with the I Stars. I did Dancing with the Stars. Did you have fun? Did you enjoy it? I did not enjoy it. Man. I, I loved it. 
<laughs> I can't blame the show. And, I, yeah. and and like after my season, I went back and you know I, I was a friend of the show. And yeah, I would yeah. go to like the following sequence and seasons and sit in the audience and stuff. It was just like uncomfortable for me, man. I was I was newly sober and I was yeah, like just yeah. like in a really awkward phase of yeah. my life. And it's an awkward thing to do, man. Yeah. You know. Well, how'd you do on the show? I did pretty good. I made it to the finale. Wow. Um, so that's top two? So that's top three. Oh, top top three, three, yep. Cool. So I mean, and uh, I I was a nervous wreck every single time I had to go out sure. and say, like, I was a disaster. Because, like, I'm a little neurotic. Like, I want to be not perfect, but, like, mm-hmm. I, I want to do my best. You know yeah. what I mean? And I put a lot of pressure on myself. But that's, like, that competitive, like, sure. nature in me that I just want to I want to be the best I can be. So, like, I would, I would be in rehearsal maybe 12 hours a day like longer than anybody. I think I broke the record for wow. most rehearsing in a season. But that's just the way twelve I hours am. a day? If not more. Jeez. That was like in the studio. Like then I go home and like practice too. Because I'm i I'm I'm a fool. Wow. Were you like that with like rehearsing lines and stuff always and shit like that? That was always easy for me. Like uh-huh. I would look at it once or twice before I went to bed and like I'd wake up in the morning and somehow I'd just know it. You know, so that was never like a, a thing. But I'm not a dancer. You know what right, I mean? Right, right, at right. At all. And, sure. you know, they'd been asking me to do the show for, like, 12 years, like, all seasons. I was like, no. Hell no. I don't dance. Like, it's not my personality. Like, I'm... Right. Even though I'm in, in uh, the entertainment business, I'm pretty shy, I think. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not, like, I don't want to be seen. You know what I mean? I'm right. more like, I'll be over here. You sure. Know, give me my lines. I'll say my lines, and I'll go back to my trailer. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Like, I'm not Hollywood or whatever you want right, to call right, it. Right, right, right. But I did it, and I'll say the first episode, the first, like time I went on stage it was one of the coolest feelings I've ever felt like hearing like the crowd go crazy like when I when I know I, and I killed it so I was wow. really excited so I enjoyed it but anyway I was bringing that up because I was talking about that's kind of where the story came from of my memory mm-hmm. uh, from their little storyline on the show yeah because they have they have <laughs> uh, an episode like most memorable year and to be honest like I love Dancing with the Stars and I don't want to like say anything that will make them hate me but they kind of tell you what your most memorable year is going to be you know what I mean? And they were like, it's 2001 because it's when you were nominated for an Emmy and the Golden Globes and all that kind of stuff. And they're like, we want you to talk all about it. And I go, I don't remember what I felt then. Yeah. Like, I don't, you know, and so it was me kind of oh. blowing off the fact that, like, I can't say that's my favorite year because, like, I can't tell you what happened in 2001. Right. You know what wow. I mean? Like, you would have to tell oh. me what happened in 2001. They're like, Frankie Muniz can't even remember. But they didn't They didn't really say it. It just kind of like the storyline in my episode then was like, you know, I, I, as cheesy as it is, I said my most memorable year is like, is the present because I've learned through all my past to live in the moment, like accept everything for what it is, whatever, sure. right? And I brought up like the fact that like, I don't, I had to say like, I don't really remember, but I wasn't saying I don't remember anything. I was just saying right. like, <laughs> right. if That's you told so me what funny. I ate for breakfast the day that I went to the, when I was nominated for an Emmy, I go, I have no idea. You right. know what I mean? Like, dude, that's so funny. I was under the impression like someone had to tell you like, no, dude, you were on this show, Malcolm in the Middle, and it was <laughs> no. a big show. And you're that's like, how he described it to me. That's how I always <laughs> thought it was. And you'd be watching the episodes he like, has no wow. recollection I'll say this. of being this is, on that show. This is the heard. first time that I've actually ever gotten to clarify. Oh, well, great, dude. We're going to so, cut this clip out and we'll send it out, dude. You're going to cut this clip out and it's... Yeah, 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 this yeah. is not even fair. We're gonna skip this part. Continue yeah. the lie. Well, no, no, we'll we'll promote this, dude. This is a big deal. Well, it's it's just funny because like, you know, I have people write me all the time like, oh, it's so sad that you don't. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why. Wow. Like, like, I, like I, hi, Frankie. I think, yeah, how are you? <laughs> well, right. My wife, you just met. She, I am afraid to forget memories now as you know what I mean like because like or good moments like I want sure. so I want journal then. so she has journaled like our entire relationship you know wow. what I mean right because she thinks like you're going to forget it no. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. well, I might Watch need it that. I might need it eventually <laughs> no yeah. um, but uh, I uh, you know I, I just like to be able to go back because when I read it on paper it brings me back to that to that moment completely you know sure. what I mean? And even now having a son, like he's eight months old, and I go like, how is he eight months old? You know, because I, I remember him how he is right now. It's not that sure. I don't remember, but I see him right now. Right. So I can't remember so him you being this big. Just like any other normal person journals. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, because I have so a problem funny. with my memory too, but like I also read that like smart people do that because they have so much bandwidth going in that they don't, they purposely just let it go out because if they retain it all, 
they're going to lose their fucking mind. I think that is, I mean, I'm definitely smart. So yeah. no, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I think that's more of it, to be honest. Like is, especially if you think I started acting when I was eight, Malcolm when I was 12 to 20, you know, like I was Damn. literally every moment of my life from when I started acting until I stopped, I had to be somewhere and had to do something. Yeah. You know what I mean? So there becomes a point, I think, where you just kind of start just in one year out the other yeah, floating but you just kind of you do what you got to do and you right. go where you need to go and and you do your best job but then you forget it well it's you crazy know? because like you know I, I i found that i had this problem and then i'd go to steve and like dude i can't remember it and steve can remember the month and the year to a t <laughs> but like his third grade teacher said to him line by line and i'm <laughs> like what the fuck yeah your memory's crazy yeah. I generally have a really good memory, yeah. particularly for dates and stuff like that. However, I totally relate to what you were saying about, you know, so much stuff happened. Like, for example, if if I were to sit down and watch an episode of my old show, Wild Boys, yeah, which, yeah. which we taped all over the world from mm-hmm. 2003 to 2005, yeah. I... I'm sure that a bunch of the scenes that were in it, I have no recollection yeah, of, like, the, of wait, the, I did that, that I did that. Yeah. I did that? Like, I should remember wait, that. Wait, wait, you, you, know you, you mean? Would, would, would... I would, I would absolutely not, like, I would, I would, I would feel like I was watching a bunch of that stuff for the same time. And, and it's specifically because what Frankie said, just so much happened. Right. Yeah. So there was just so much going on all the time. So yeah, I wouldn't. Wow. I, I got to watch, I never watched Malcolm. You know, when it was on, you just you kind of film it. But now with like the streaming services, like you can sit down and, and just kind of crank through. And my wife had never seen it. So we watched it a few years ago and I truly could watch it as like a fan because I I really <laughs> didn't know what was going to happen. <laughs> I, mean, I, could, I could watch it as a fan because I'm fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, don't, great I don't see it, it as me. Show, I don't see it as right, me. Right, I'm saying right. like, you know, you're from an outsider's perspective. Yeah, I get to go sure. like, but also because when you film. I filmed the parts I was in. I don't really know what else right, they filmed right, in the right, show. Right. You know right. what I mean? Like, I don't know how that turned out or the, the so other So you wouldn't watch lines. it when it aired? No. Like a viewing party with your buds? Oh, no. no, no. Dude, no. I was always kind of more, like, embarrassed to, like, I don't know, just kind oh, of wow. awkward. Yeah, dude. Thanks for watching that clip. And if you live in America, there's a good chance that this big badass tour bus is coming to your town with my bucket list tour. What is it? Well, it's an X-rated show full of all the stuff that I would have never have been allowed to do for Jackass. And a lot of it is flagrantly illegal. So, it's adults only. And if you live in any of these states, then you better go to stevo.com and check out my tour schedule. Hurry up and get your tickets too, because it's selling out everywhere. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude.